What's up? <clears throat> What's up guys? Action 46 Racing Network once again back and today I know you guys are probably watching the 24 hours of Daytona which is about to come into conclusion but right now we're doing another diecast review this time with Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson. First off we're going to be Chase Elliott's car uh, throwback. This is actually a backup car. This is not the actual primary car. This became the backup car. This is because what happened during practice, he hit the wall without unexpectedly hitting the wall. You could tell that there's a little bit of chrome on the number, which is cool. Uh, the throwback was supposed to be based off of, uh, I think, his dad's uh, blue and yellow car that he ran, which is pretty cool. You can tell by the blue there on the roof. It looks a little shinier than usual. Which is unique. And then door number is also chrome. This was the backup car. Compared to that car to this one over here. This was an eye-catching moment to everybody's eyes. This is a throwback to Bell Elliott's 2001 through 2003 uh, Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge Durango back in the days when I was watching NASCAR in 2001. This is when my cousin talked to Everham at the time and for some reason they had a collaboration at the point that I think Ray Everham was talking to Chase Elliott of doing this throwback for Darlington and it came out awesome. The bright red of the Dodge Intrepid Dodge to what it was back in the day, 2001 through 2003, that the car really had sentimental value and everybody's attention due to the fact it's got the Ray Everham 9 on the door and on the roof and on the side, on the on the right side, which is pretty cool because this is Happy Mother's Day on the side. It was a really cool touch. Lumar paint protection film hmm unique paint unique sponsor to choose for the throwback which is a good idea I like this throwback and the red number nine for Hendrick Motorsports throwback into Bell Elliott's car back in 2001 through 2003 and also the backup slash uh, throwback for Chase Elliott back in 2022. That car was also raced in 2023. And that was the best pick in the world between the 24 and the 9. We already, took, we already saw the video of the 24 and the 48. Now last but not least. Let's talk about the guy who almost won at Darlington. Kyle Larson. Um... These two cars are throwbacks to um, one of the best Hall of Famers in NASCAR. Which really put the sentimental value of Hendrick Motorsports back on the map. This is actually Jeff Bodine's uh, Goodies Dash throwback in the Goodies Dash series. I think it was the Bush series at the time, back in the day. This is the Hendrick Chevrolet dealers. What I like about this car... It looks like a test car, right? Or a generic test car. Well, let's just say this was based off of, uh, I think, Junior's test car back in 2008. Instead of just the all white, he used to have a red. I wish he would throw back to that, but, you know, Jeff Bodon had the zero Bush car. It was a Nova. And talk about classics. Let's talk about a throwback to itself. A guy who won races with Hendrick Motorsports before he transferred himself out of Roush. Mark Martin. Which, this is the throwback to Mark Martin's number 5. And Tony Stewart's Bush car. This was a nice car too. I didn't expect Larson to do a throwback to this car in particular. Due to the fact of how awesome this looks with the black and the blue. It should have been, you know, you know metallic blue. But do the fact that not only that, look at the little side splitters. It's yellow, right? Just like Casey, just like uh, Chase Elliott's. 
car. I think through the fact that they wanted to do that, I think is for like a for a unique reason. You know, just to you know put something out there. What I like about this car is I seen this car in a museum. Tony Stewart's Bush car. And what's kind of unique about it is the blue and the black really made this car look a little bit mean looking. I just felt bad for him because he had the win in his grasp. Until, you know, I know everybody's going to say, oh, it's just Chase Ross Chastain's fault. Well, okay, it's Ross Chastain's fault. But, you know, it's, that looks like, oh, look at that. I didn't see that. So, this is a throwback to Tony Stewart's car from the Bush series. I just noticed it. Look, they put Kyle's name on it. And you, that's Smoke's signature right there. You see it? There you go. Look, that's Smoke's signature. That's Smoke's little name thing. Well, that's cool. So this is based off of, not my bad. Yeah, this is Mark Martin's and Tony Stewart's, but this is actually Tony Stewart's throwback car. The number 80 Bush car. I'm wondering if that car, that number 80 car was either a Hendrick car or a Junior car. I'm wondering that. So if you guys got any comments about this car, the paint scheme, was that number 80 car a Hendrick Motorsports car or a Dale Jr. car, the number 80 car that Cobb Larson's thrown back to. Because it has Tony Stewart's thing, but I'm wanting the number 80 car. The one that's in the museum. I'm wondering if that's an actual Hendrick car or uh, the Hendrick first ever Hendrick Bush car or Dale Jr.'s car. Because remember, Jr. is also affiliated with Hendrick Motorsports as well in that, in that year, 2008. So, you guys comment down below. This video.